my screen now? Yep, now you got it. There you go. Now you're cooking. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got the introducing the alma mater as my first, and we've got my words, correct? You're the boss right there. Take it away. Hey, yay. All righty. Thank you, Mike. And I am so happy to hear that we're the purple cow. You know, that, yes. that is a, such a good analogy of the alma magna for sure, because it is something completely outside of the box. And we all know that people in this world always want what's new, fresh, what's different, what's exciting. And river cruising as a whole is an exciting industry and they want all of the river ships that we have. They're all good. But the Ama Magna is just something new. And I thought I'd start by sharing this little quote that Rudy, uh, he is our, our illustrious uh, president and owner of our company, one of the three. And Rudy Schreiner has been coined the godfather of river cruising because he's had his hand in so much of it since it began. And he had made this quote that I just love. I've had this unique ship on my mind for many years and I'm confident that now is the time to introduce my vision. I can't wait to see the Alma Magna sailing on the Danube in 2019. And then he went on to say, the Alma Magna is in addition to the is an addition to the game rather than a game changer. Offering the same impeccable service, the same memorable experiences for guests sailing along the enchanting Danube, yet she will have even more space and more choices for the luxury cruise market. And that's how we're positioning the Alma Magna. And it's really important that you all embrace that because we don't want to take away from the rest of our product, which we all know is exceptional. I mean, we were ranked number one in the world by the Berlitz Guidebooks, but the Ama Magna just gives us a new level. It gives us something a little different. It gives us something to offer to people that maybe have river cruised before, and now they're and even on the Danube, but they still want to go back and see more and more and have a different way of doing it. So I thought I'd share with you, this is, as Mike said, this is a sneak preview of the Ama Magna. Um, our marketing team is currently working on um, lots of new marketing materials to send to you to assist you in your sales efforts for the Magna as well. But this will just get you all up and excited about this new product and wanting to understand and know why you should be telling everybody about it. So these images were actually taken in Bahala. They are the, that is the shipyard, the ship company or the ship builder that we use to build all of our vessels. And I just want to share with you a couple things about this construction because it's fascinating. So the construction of this vessel is, is very special because it actually has to, it's of such specific dimensions that it has a other challenges that the smaller ships wouldn't have. So the hull was actually, or is actually been built in Bahali, the shipyard in Serbia, the country of Serbia. It's done and it's on the water. And then when we put it on the water, we are floating it down the Black Sea and put it on a freighter and we ship it on a shipping vessel to Rotterdam, which is the other part of the Vahali shipyard, which happens to be located in Ghent in the Netherlands. And it's taken by tug to the finishing at that shipyard in Ghent in the Netherlands. Once it's completed, however, the whole process is reversed and the Alma Magna is shipped back to Romania um, and back to uh, the Serbia area for positioning along the Danube and Budapest, which it will be running the uh, Danube between Budapest and the Germany area. So basically, uh, it's really a process to build something of this this um, size and nature. What do you think of that shot? I love that picture. So that's when we, we did finally float it in the river as it began this voyage up to the uh, shipyard in the Netherlands to finishing the, doing the finishing touches on the interior of the vessel itself. The Ama Magna is almost double the width of the normal river ships we operate. So our normal ships are all 443 feet long and they are 38 feet wide. But this particular vessel is 443 feet long, but it's 72 feet wide. So it's really exceptionally large. 
It will be the largest suites on the river. By having such a wide ship, why have we done that? I mean, what is the reasoning behind it? The reasoning behind it was to provide a ship that gives guests more generous personal space. They give, you get the freedom of multiple dining choices. And there's also exceptional stateroom comfort in these very, very large staterooms. Do you see that little quote on my side slide? It says most staterooms are between 355 and 710 square feet. What do you think of that, Mike? Not too shabby, right? It's fantastic. And I just want to mention, go back a slide there, if you will, Diane, just to answer Peter's question. It's 196 guests. That's We had a question come in early from Peter, and that should answer that question. Diane, back to you. Yes, thank you. Yes, 98 staterooms, 196 guests, and approximately 70 to 80 crew members. So it's going to be... Uh, uh, something like you you haven't seen but if you think about this our normal ships our our 443 foot long twin balcony ships hold 158 passengers now we're doubling the size of this ship in width yet we're only putting 196 passengers so why are we doing that so we can do what Rudy really loves to do and that's provide spacious accommodations so when you start to look at our points of distinction for this vessel specific, you've got again the 98 staterooms, with the majority of those staterooms being 355 square feet plus. So I'm telling you, almost all of them are going to be a, a very large size like this. In just a moment, don't worry, I have a slide to give you or to show you that shows um, the breakdown of the square footage per uh, category. What's going to be special? about this ship it's going to have some of these special features one of the things is an open water sports platform why are we doing this we're doing this because we are enhancing and becoming more and more involved in our wellness program offerings and I'll tell you a little bit more about our wellness program in a minute but when you offer this specific new sports platform area it allows you to have additional recreational type equipment you couldn't have on other river ships uh, for instance, uh, we've mentioned kayaks. We have a special new tender boat that's going to be called the Sundowner, which is going to offer intimate little excursions off of our much larger ship. So things like this are what's being done in order to just break the mold, to do something completely different. Uh, it'll have um, small group excursions that we'll be able to do. This ship will have multiple dining venues. Uh, besides just our spacious main dining room, I have to explain to you, or I would like to give you a description of this. The main restaurant or dining room will span the entire width of the vessel forward on the main deck. And one deck below, there will be a wine bar alternative restaurant and the chef's table, which are side by side. Now, this is really important for you to know because there's going to be movable walls in there. So in just a moment, when I tell you a about some ideas regarding groups, this might give you guys uh, a reason to smile because you're finally going to realize if you have larger group sizes, the AMA Magna will be able to handle them for any type of get togethers, meeting situations, or special occasions. It even is going to have, besides the chef's table, which we are, of course, award winning and we're known for, which is our specialty restaurant, which allows your your clients to have a specialty dining experience where a chef will be freshly cooking each and every course in front of them. But this ship will also have El Fresco dining with retractable windows um, that will also be um, a feature up in the forward of the ship. As well, it will have a wine bar area. And for all of you who know our brand, you know we are the specialist in wine cruising. Another special feature is a split, split level lounge which is going to create intimate pockets where you can just get together and mingle with guests and or your friends. Uh, and there will be lots of room available for this. And that was the point of this ship, to provide more intimate room, spacious yet intimate. Then we'll have a large sun deck swimming pool, which we do feature on all of our ships. But on this ship, we will also have, in addition to it, a whirlpool and there will be a sky bar up there as well on the sun deck. 
So that's going to be a, a very special gathering place. I can see lots of people really enjoying that area, especially in the summer months. Even they show on the, uh, the displays, we may have table tennis courts. So there'll be lots of other things available um, because of the size. There'll be a multi-functional health and wellness studio that can accommodate group classes. This is, again, really important for any of you that are out there might be featuring, maybe you're going to feature wellness cruises, yoga cruises, uh, so anything related to fitness or activity, biking, hiking trips. This is going to be in a two. Uh, so it'll be, these will all be, be of course, complimentary and included in the price. Plus, there is a spa area as we feature on all of our AMA Waterway ships. Uh, that's going to be extra special with extra services as well as a hair salon, which is even going to, I'm told, finally have a, um, an area for nails and pedicures, which would be really great. Then uh, the ship itself, uh, the hardware, it's uh, got a very low draft. It's also going to uh, feature quieter, more fuel efficient engines. This is extremely important when you're operating a vessel of this size. And the other thing that's very important is often we get asked about parallel docking, which is something where we talk, everybody has different terminology for this, Mike. Sometimes they call it rafting up. Sometimes they call right. tying up to a ship. But on the Magna, there will be no, very little to no parallel docking on this particular ship. So that's another nice little perk. Diane, I so just had just, some, uh, uh, excuse me for one moment, uh, an agent came yeah. in and I just, I think I want to clarify this. Uh, you can do it better than I can, but uh, she said, uh, just as a, in, information, basically the Ama Magna will have the same number of guests as a competitorship, but my feeling is, but the difference is, is that the competitorship always had 196, but they're, they're, um, their hardware is a lot smaller. The Ama Magna is so big, it's the same amount of guests, but a lot more area to roam around. Right. Well, and the other thing is that the huge difference is that um, this is a brand new ship, so it's very quiet. It won't experience vibrations. It won't have, uh, it also will have almost all balcony cabins or staterooms. There are the only staterooms on the ship that will not have a balcony will be the bottom deck. So if you're thinking of the competitor I'm thinking of, you might want to check that out because that is not the case. And that is a huge difference. Not only that, yeah, but more, just the you sheer have more living space and more recreational space. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So moving on to the next slide, if I can there, this is uh, some of the features of the staterooms. I thought it was very important that you all embrace this and you understand how important this defining difference is going to be. Um, these luxury staterooms, the majority of them being outside, actually I counted today, there's only 11 staterooms on this whole ship that are not going to be considered balcony. When I say the word balcony, I mean outside balcony. So I'm talking full balcony. I'm not talking French balcony. There are not French balconies on this ship. There are the there are the fixed window state rooms of which there are 11 of them on the bottom deck because that's always necessary on the bottom deck of a ship. You can't of a river ship. You can't have the balconies. So all other state rooms on the entire ship are going to be balcony. There will be six grand suites which will measure out to 474 square feet. There's going to be one owner suite. I'd like to stay in that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a mere little tiny one at 710 square feet. And they're all going to feature spacious sitting areas and beds facing the river because that seems to be something that uh, in, you know, uh, feedback from guests they really appreciate. Uh, there will be spacious bathrooms with walk-in showers. Um, there's going to be uh, many, many um, other features in those bathrooms. And I'm going to show you in just a minute pictures or artist renderings so that it will bring it more to life for you. There's going to be generous closet space, I can't speak here, <laughs> storage and um, shelf space. You know, sometimes I hear complaints when I'm out in the field talking to guests that there 
there was nowhere to put their things. They got in these rooms and the rooms, and that's not referring to AMA Waterways, that's referring to a lot of our competitors. We've always tried to make sure that once you get on board and you get in the, the on our ships, you do feel at home. And the way you feel at on home, that, like you're at home is when you can unpack your things, right? And you can put them somewhere and you don't have to live out of a suitcase. So we're making sure that's provided. Um, there will be another feature we're quite well known for at AMA, which is our entertainment on demand system, uh, which is the Apple TV systems, which allows the guests to have access not only to the internet, but also access to local channels, cable channels, and on demand movies, all complimentary. Um, also music in the room, which is a, a wonderful feature as well, and English language TV, which is good. Each room will have individually controlled air conditioning. So whatever you feel most comfortable with is there for you. The ship also will be equipped with Wi-Fi. I just want to say that. That's not mentioned here. And also there are going to be a certain percentage of staterooms which will have connectivity features. So they will be connecting staterooms. So as we have been come to know as the River Cruise Line that does have triples quads, we also will have the connecting stateroom feature on the AMA Magna. And now let's just look at the actual stateroom size. When you start to look, the categories. So those two lead in cabin categories, the E's and the D's, you can see from there 205 square feet. I say that tongue in cheek because that, you know, that's huge for our lead in cabins. So even if somebody decides to purchase these with the fixed window, they are going to be very, very happy with the size of their stateroom. Um, then you'll have the category A, B, and A, A's, which are classified as outside balcony. That means these particular staterooms are going to be the 252 square feet in size, which again is quite a nice size, and have a full size balcony for your use. Then you go up to uh, the next category, um, which is the, um, let me see, the, the Yes. Actually, the BS, I'm sorry, the BS and the AS. And those are the ones at the 355 square feet in size. And on those, we've got, oh, I don't know, 16, about 46 of those. So we've got a lot of staterooms at that, that size. So you see it's the majority of the staterooms. And then we've got the Grand Suite staterooms, which I mentioned just briefly before the six of them at the 474 and then that beautiful uh biggie the 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 owner suite at the mere 710 square feet and that's it those are all we have we, we have a grand total of eight categories for you to deal with so very easy stuff now let's get the really wow effect and that's the visuals so this is actually they they actually do mock cups of the rooms at the shipyard in the Netherlands so you can literally walk into them Mike and when we were at our global sales meeting in January um, we were able to go over to the shipyard and get to walk into the mock-up of this cabin and I can all or I should call it a stateroom I'm sorry it is just magnificent so I've been calling it the AMA magnificent ever since uh, you can oh, just get the wow effect when you look at these features, you know, and the way that it's the way that it's been designed. Even the tiles on the floor, every little detail has been thought of. Look at this when you take a look at the um, the living space that you have between the area of the bedroom, the sitting area, and the bathroom, even the size. So these are really distinctive design innovations that we've come out with. And here's another view looking back so that you can get an, an idea of the grand entrance way, the bathroom and the size, and you can even get a concept of all the closet areas that are gonna be provided. So it's gonna be very spacious in all categories. Uh, I actually had wanted to show a little video that we put together of the pictures, but it doesn't work well in the webinar setting. So uh, if anybody should need something of that sort, again, and marketing is working on some tremendous marketing tools for you to provide you with very shortly. Just a few other things about the AMA Magna, AMA Waterways in general, and something that's very important. Right now, one of the uh, fastest growing interest in the travel business is wellness. People are finding that 
they're going on vacations, but they still want to keep their routines. Uh, they want to uh, make sure they're still eating healthy and being healthy, even as they're traveling on their vacations. So this past year, we actually uh, ran a full year, year of our wellness program on the Seine River on the Amalira. It was such a tremendous success. We've expanded the program onto six ships in 2018, and we will be ex expanding to all our ships in Europe in 2019, including the Ama Magna. Now, I already shared with you a little bit about the fitness center and, and the uh, sports um, uh, deck and all of that. So you can imagine what we're gonna be able to provide in this particular area of interest on this specific ship, just because of the sheer nature of the size that we have. The variety of exercise classes and programs we'll be able to offer will be um, really nice. And also the size of the fitness center itself, which will allow us to even have wonderful group um, fitness classes or discussions. Hey, Diane. Diane, hold on one second there before you carry on. I just yep. want to address some qu quick questions. These are like one word answers for you. Um, Got it. Will, will, will any of the cabins allow for a third person in the stateroom? The triples, yes. Yes. And all, all um, but only in a, there's a select amount of staterooms that will be designated. Okay, and other than that, they have connecting doors so you can go from room That's to room. The, but adjoining the answer is yeah. yes. It looks like there's As one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like there's eight of the connecting rooms that could connect. Yeah, and but I'll there check are on the two that allow three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will go, and you know what? Just to be absolutely certain, because I'm just looking at my own personal notes too to be certain. If you would let me know uh, who needs to have that information, I'll be happy to provide a follow-up just to be sure how they're gonna handle the triple situation. You know. Yep. I know this agent, I'll let you know. Are there yeah, AC yeah. controls, air conditioning controls in each cabin is a question, yes or no? Yes, everyone. Okay, everyone controls their own temperature and I'll answer this one, Wi-Fi is included. There's no extra fee for Wi-Fi. Correct. All included. No cost. Okay. Back to you. Oh, okay, wait a minute. One more. One more. One more. Okay. Is there a single, uh, do you have singles on this? Single stateroom. If not, will single supplement be waived at times like other AMA ships? So like uh, on all our ships, we will have a certain percentage of inventory that can be allocated to waive a single supplement. I mean, that can even apply to the Magna. However, those are always just in the fixed window state rooms, which is categories E and D only. And okay. so it is, so it can't, it is possible, but again, it's going to be capacity controlled. Gotcha. Okay, carry on and I'll sleep, I'll keep monitoring these questions. No problem at all. Thank you. I Love to answer them as we go. It's 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 nice to be interactive. Uh, the group policy. Okay, so this ship, as you can see, just by some of the little things I've told you already, is perfect for groups. It has the capacity. It has space. It has rooms now that can hold larger quantities of people at one period of time. So it has so many reasons to consider doing group business on this particular ship. Uh, the group policy will not change. The group policy will remain the same on the Magna. So we will still have the five state rooms, which is the minimum group requirement, 10 passengers. You'll still have the ability to earn the unlimited tour conductors, which is one free for every nine berths booked. Or uh, maybe I should even refer to it as one tour conductor berth credit, because you can use that as you wish. Um, the refundable deposit will remain the same. It's $50 per stateroom. That holds the actual group contract for you. It does not hold the cabins out of inventory, which is the same, again, across the board. So in order to actually hold a cabin in a person's name, you will be actually collecting their full deposit at that time. But at that moment, we immediately sign a stateroom to the guest. 
And then you will continue to also have the services of your own dedicated group sales coordinator that will assist you with your group by providing you with things you may need, like a full color flyer to promote your group. Um, they'll get to know you. They'll get to know who, you know, what your group likes uh, and work together with you as a team. In addition, we do have our wonderful you know, business development team out there. The business development team is always there to support your efforts um, of any type of group or any type of promotion you'd like to do with AMA Waterways. So I say now is a great time to really look at blocking group space on the Magna because once more and more marketing material gets out on the Magna, I just feel there's going to be a, a lot more um, take on this and you will find that then it will become more difficult to find the space you're looking for. So just to even give you more reasons to consider groups with the Diane, Magna. Diane, one moment, one moment, please. I just want to tell everybody some great questions are coming in. I want to uh, allow Diane time to finish her presentation and then we will go rapid fire down through these questions because I think they're all valid. And I think, Diane, some quick quick answers will uh, dot a lot of I's and make everybody happy. So if that's okay with you, finish up, and then we'll go to the Q&A for some quick answers, okay? Thanks, Mike. That's perfect. Yeah, because we're almost done. We just wanted to give you, like I said, a sneak preview and highlight some things that are really important about the Magna. Uh, so some special features related specifically to group is the ample size that we have for these events. I think I've said that more than once now during this presentation, but it's really important you understand how are we doing that. Because of the multiple dining areas, the restaurants, we've got the wine bar restaurant, it actually can hold a total capacity of 100 guests. Also, you can have banquet style seating in the room for up to 65 and lecture cells for up to 100. So now when you're looking at this, you're probably going, wow, I've never seen that before on a river cruise. So this is one of the wonderful features that's going to help you with those larger groups that we've always struggled with finding a place for those group sizes. Also, there's a wine bar. Though In the wine bar, we can include wine bar tables. The capacity would then be reduced down to 36 with these tables because the tables are tables of 12. But the Extra feature are the movable walls that permit the rooms to be divided or kept as one large room. So there's flexibility. And then the, the last room, of course, the chef's table restaurant, which we've always used on our current ships and will always continue to be able to host wonderful groups on those ships as well in the chef's table. This one, because of the sheer size of the ship, on our other ships, the capacity is about 28 passengers for eating and maybe 35 to 40 for a meeting together. On this, you've got a lot more capacity with up to 60 guests. So these are important things to keep in mind. So I wanted to leave you with some group ideas because there's so many areas that you may not have thought of or you're looking at how you can expand your group business. Certainly selling a river cruise is the most ideal uh, way to put a group together because river cruises are ideal to handle groups in an in intimate setting. You keep everybody together, yet you give everybody the freedom to make choices of what they like to do when they're in port. So I'm sure many of you have already looked at your ocean cruisers. Many ocean cruisers will continue to ocean cruise, but they're going to look into rivers because they realize to get into the heart of countries like Germany, Austria, the Czech Republic, Hungary, they need to be on the rivers. Active travelers are perfect for on the waterways because of our hiking and biking programs. Our demographic age is really quite low, probably now averaging between 55 and 60, so we're getting younger and older people, but even no matter what the age, people are more active now. Uh, so keep that in mind, that's an area that we really do shine. Culinary lovers love Alma Waterways because we're members of the Shane Day Wrote to Share Society, the Culinary Society out of Paris, well known for our culinary excellence on board. Wine lovers all love us. We have 50 wine cruises this year, 60 next year. So we will have wine cruises on the Magna, but I'm just going to say you better jump on that fast because I know that's going to be a hot commodity. 
Adventure seekers, anyone looking for adventure will also enjoy the any of the cruises that we have on the day because there's lots of little small group special interest tours we've now developed for that. We have family travelers traveling with us because of our adjoining cabins and our capacity to handle them. Veterans and historians always love the rivers. There's so much to offer in all of them. Okay, global shoppers, I mean, really, Christmas markets, that is absolutely the most magical time of year to cruise on the Danube. So you may want to look at what we have available in Christmas markets on the, the Magna. And then, of course, solo travelers, which we've just addressed. You know, Diane, there's one that, so I loved there's one that popped into my mind that, that I think that everybody on the phone here should be uh, attuned to. Yeah. And that is incentive travel. Not all, not all corporations, yeah. but there's some corporations who their salespeople are make the operation go, and they want to applaud and thank these special salespeople and with their wives, and they send them on trips. And this could be a trip for two. And the Ama uh, Magna is so good because you could have ten or twelve or fifteen winners. And I think you should seriously start editing a sales letter to every corporation within a 50 mile radius of your telephone to blow this in their ear that this here offers Europe first class and it doesn't offer seasickness. And I think that that's why most corporations don't go to sea on incentives because they don't want to take that chance. This thing is a, is a, short, it's a home run for corporate incentives. I would think about that. Yeah, that's a great idea, Mike. Absolutely. And now it has the capacity when the corporate incentives sometimes have the larger people. So, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, and then I was going to end with this wonderful uh, quote from Steve Jobs. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. And I feel like uh, no one no one more than uh, Rudy Schreiner really is the epitome of innovation and thinking outside the box and not just leaving things the way they are, but thinking of new ways to continue to offer new and exciting features and product to people. Uh, and, and so the AMA Magna is just another step. It's going to go hand in hand with all our other ships. It is going to operate solely on the Danube River and the Danube River is probably the number one most sought after river trip of first time cruisers and even repeat cruisers. Because for any of you who maybe have done a river cruise, you may realize that you go on a river trip and you get to a port and with AMA waterways, we might give you six choices of things to do in that port and you can only choose one or two depending on how long we're there. So you need to go back and do the rest. And so there's always something new to do and so why not try it in a different environment on something that's just a little bit different and so i'm ending with this slide just to give you uh the reminder that in order to really uh work uh locally you have, have a uh, business development manager right in your area we have a business development manager that covers all states so there's somebody there for you i'm always there for you i'm diana gama waterways uh, and uh, of course, Mike. <laughs> so with that, I guess I'll turn it back to Mike. Well, I did want you to see to the um, the website address for the sales team contact info. And then Mike, if yep, you want to start. The BDM. Yep. Questions. The BDMs can be found at the sales dash team there on the URL. Yeah. And I, um, uh, the, the, a copy of this recording, if, if it works out well. Uh, which I would like to think it does. If you want a link to the recording of the session immediately, if you want it faster than the normal progress, send me an email at mike at mikemarshev.com and I'll send you the link this afternoon. Mike at, well, maybe by tonight's say, mike at mikemarshev.com. Otherwise, we'll follow up in an email in a couple of days and you'll have the link in the email. So you'll get it one way or the other, but if you want it faster, mike at mikemarshev.com. Now, Diane, don't go away yet because I want to rapid fire. This is called being on the hot seat, maybe. I'm going to go through some questions and fire them off um, without uh, taking too much time because we promised we'd be in and out today. But I do want to address these questions, okay? Yeah. And the first one is um, 
are the D and E windows that down below are the windows high up? Now, I don't know what the definition of high is, but I guess, can you look out the window is the question. Absolutely. I, I will tell you on all of our ships, I am happy to tell you that I'm vertically challenged. I'm only five feet two. And I can see out all of our windows without even standing on my tiptoe. So right. if that yeah. helps, uh, um, okay, that should so not be. I would if imagine that's six, exactly what If you're less than four so, six, you might need a chair, but otherwise yeah. you're in business. <laughs> Uh, are any handicap accessible? Are the cabins handicap accessible? Uh, not really. Um, we I'll, I will find out for sure what features we might have in some of the larger uh, staterooms, but there isn't there is not um, a lot of accessibility features. Although there is an can... elevator, though there's an elevator. Yeah, well, there's an elevator, but I think they're referring to things in the stateroom where you have the push, uh, the push buttons for the doors and all of that. Okay, well, you you. Uh, you okay. have to give so, me more clarity. Who's ever asking that question? If you'd like to send me exactly what you're referring to, then I'll let you know. Because um, we are, are always looking at what we can do. And by the way, that elevator does go to all the decks, uh, not to the top deck at this moment, but not to the roof. Yeah. Okay, so David O, email uh, Diane for that more information there. Yeah, okay. tell me what you're uh, doing. The, the pictures, the pictures that you showed, you showed one picture that looked like a, a, a palatial suite. Was, was that the owner's suite? Uh, that actually was the 355 square foot stateroom. Uh, let me see oh, beautiful. Can go back. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. There you go. So that's uh, not that okay. one. Yeah. That no. Go up. Go one more forward. That one. Go no. Yeah. No. Go back. That was the one I showed. That that's the 355. That's the 355. Back. Go back. That one. That one. That one. Yeah. That one. I think is just that could be the um the junior uh, or the um the grand suite. I would think so. I would think yeah. so. Now, I don't think, only, that's, think that, that's not the 710 one yet. No. Are only, the I don't larger, even know. are only the larger suites face the windows? Or do all of this all of the cabins do the beds face the river? No, they do not. Not all of them. The ones the suites. Uh, the, suite. the grand okay. suite, correct. The category GS and the category OS. All right, Jim, you were right on that one. Okay. All right, Jim was right there. Uh the group policies we covered. Let's see. Uh, need to know about the triples and quads as well. Danny P. Email Diane one to one for that information. Uh, Sue. Uh, Sue. The the itinerary is basically Wilshof in Germany to Budapest and back. It's going to be on the Danube. And whoever was worried about the locks, th 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 there was always room for two side by side. So in this case. Only one will go through the big one, but length is no problem, and you can't put three in there, but it'll just be the Ama Magna versus two side by side. And yeah. electric plugs, how, the, uh, how much juice is in each room, Diane? Um, so historically, what we've had is we have, we have lots of plugs, let me tell you. We even have one of these four plug featured, the strips that are in the drawer you can plug in to create more plugs for yourself if you like. Um, so that's pretty much I, the plan will be similar on the Magna. Um, we did have one outlet on the other ships as well that was at 110. Um, but I have to tell you, most of the equipment you bring now, as long as you have the plug adapter, like your phones, your smartphones, your iPads, you can actually plug them into that without a converter. How about hair dryers? Hair dryers are provided, bathrobes are provided, slippers are provided, um, all the unlimited bottled water you like is provided, high-end German amenities in the bathrooms are provided. Okay, got it. Next one, Ex are there extra bikes on this ship? You know, that is a good question. <laughs> I think we actually even did ask Rudy, and it's that's yet to be answered. I know there'll be a minimum of 25 of them. Uh, uh, I think it's just going to be subject to the amount of storage because we, we store them. We want them to be in good shape. So you want to store them in a way that they're going to be, you know, covered or whatever. So and not just sitting out on the deck. So. OK, perfect. Uh, so Gail, be... 
any of these Hello? questions that aren't addressed, you have the email from Diane, so you can go direct. Uh, I want to hurry up here. Um, Sandy, more information on uh, the uh, triples. I guess there's triples is a big, big question, Diane. We've already addressed that. If you want to go more specifically, email Diane. She'll put up the, um, go to the end, the last slide, Diane, so they can see the email again. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me and do they're that. consumer friendly single supplements. Okay, so we, we kind of covered that. And I did and look up, let's see. it seems like my, like at the moment, we're, we don't have a confirmation yet on how the triples are going to be handled. But what if you would, if you really do have an interest in that, it's important that you uh, let me know so that I can certainly give you the latest and greatest information as soon as I have that for you. Uh, the same with the accessibility features. Um, they are working on some things, but there's not a uh, confirmation yet that I can give you. But certainly I'm happy to get it because I should have that soon. And the air conditioning is can be controlled individually by cabin. That is correct, right? That is correct. Okay. Is the lower deck only accessible by stairs? No. There's an elevator going all the way down, correct? Correct. Okay. Will the ship be more accessible than the other ships? Would it be wheelchair accessible? That one, um, Lisa, contact Diane directly on the accessibility situation. Yeah. Uh, but will you, you give us that Up, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say we do, you know, we've always been able to handle a lot of people that do have accessibility issues with those modern travel wheelchairs. It's just that people that do travel with accessibility issues have to be realistic about what will take place once they disembark the ship in the different ports of call. So that's always um, the issue there. Okay. So I would imagine uh, the cabins will be able to handle these things, but um, there's always still going to be other related issues that they have to always take into account. No, I said Bielshofen to Budapest and back. Is there a formal uh, itinerary out for the Ama Magna yet? Absolutely. And it is in your 2019 brochures. So you can go okay. online, you can go on the website, you can go get the, the 2019 preview brochure, which is out. And and the magna is in there. Um, the, the deck plans are in there. Look very soon. Oh, I don't know the date that they're going to come out with the extensive big 2019, but it will be probably, I would imagine, by next month sometime. So it, it comes out quite early in the spring. But always keep on top of these things on the website, on, on the travel agent portal, and on any of the ship tabs. Because uh, the, the newest info on the Magna will continue to be fed on there. Okay, Amy, uh, Amy H. Uh, asked the question, and I want you to uh, email Diane directly, Amy. And the reason being, I'm not, I'm not dodging pricing, but it's, it's early in the game, folks. And I asked Diane not to talk about pricing for two reasons. Number one, it could change. I don't want to be held to it, and I don't want to be sued. So there you go. Any pricing, you go directly with AMA or your BDM and keep Marsha out of that. Uh, the next one, and I'm not, I'm not passing the buck, but I guess I am. So if the shoe fits, wear it. Uh, where yeah, but will just it be? so you know, the, oh, I'm ahead. sorry, go ahead. No, you go, Diane. No, I, I was going to say, I was going to, are you going to ask me about what the pricing is or is that what she, her question well, we, is? Well, she wanted to know about if, if things change and uh, we could go into pricing for another two hours. So I, I choose not to do that now on this program. Okay, that's something that the BDMs can handle one on one with the people. We're not dodging it, but the fee is the fee, but I think it's too early. But say what you want to say, Diane. Right. No, I was just going to say that the pricing on the Magna is slightly higher in cost than the other ships. That said, um, it's certainly justifiable based on the added inclusions, the size of the staterooms, and it's really quite minor if you look at it. So it's not a huge chunk. So it really is something that they can easily um, uh, justify any kind of differences. Pricing, the Magna will also have discount pricing in the way of promotions offered on it, just like all of us. 
So it's not going to be good. any different in that respect. So, but as you said, you know, our pricing is stable, but every month we go through our inventory. And at that time, the inventory is scrutinized based on um, what's available and whether we can continue to uh, advance a promo or whether we have to withdraw the promo. So. The answer to Gail, thank you, Diane. The answer to da Gail, it's, it's the Danube River and the river's wide enough and the locks are wide enough to handle that. So Vilshofen to Budapest on the Danube is the answer to that. Uh, what is involved in getting a winery's own wine on board for a group? To get a winery, excuse me, a winery. In other words, if you, got a, if you want a group and they want to bring their own wine with them. Uh, okay, well, it just depends. So uh, obviously they can ship wine to the ship and they can bring it on board. Um, the, the, she might be referring to the fact that our wine hosts, that are our official wine hosts for our wine cruises, um, often we then ship their wine to the ship and it's part of our wine tastings as part of that cruise experience. Um, that is obviously only for the official wine cruise for that day. If so somebody had their own customized group, which you most certainly can do on the Magna, and you would have your own group leader, well then depending on the amount of people you're bringing to the table will depend on what we'll talk to you about really. So we just, we'd have to know more about uh, the amount of people we're dealing with. Is it gonna be a part charter? You can certainly part charter the ship, you can charter it. So there's, yeah, there's lots of options with that as well. Okay, this is a, a a question that I don't know if we can answer is the fact that you won't be rafting, I'll use the word rafting, mm -hmm. um, how will that affect the times in the ports or the ports of call? I, I don't think it, it will affect it at all. No, no there will be no effect. Yep. Can we hold group space for only solo travelers? Uh, you you can it's not easy because we don't have tons of cabins that we allocate at the single rate but if you're talking about okay. single cabins where they're willing to pay a single supplement which the single supplement on the, the non-waived cabins would be 50 percent more then we just look at inventory always when you have these situations you need to discuss with your business development manager because we'll assist you uh, anybody in the sales department can assist you looking for soft dates, dates that are easier to get that space. If you come and you want a peak date, maybe not so much. It's not going to be as possible. But we, the one thing about Ama Waterways, I can always say, is that we always were flexible. We will look at any situation and we'll work with, with you and we'll give you alternatives. Um, okay, two more folks in the interest of time. I'm sorry we didn't cover all of these questions, but you have Diane's email right there in front of you uh, at amawaterways.com. I, I must mention this one, Diane, and don't take this, um, uh, let's see, where was it? Don't take this to heart, but one woman called out Mary Margaret as the best BDM in the company. So here, there you go. <laughs> shout out to Mary Margaret. Yay, uh, shout out to Mary Margaret. Okay. I yeah, think that's, that's just wonderful. She's a good one. I love it. She's yeah, up in the uh, area. Uh, yeah. And I want to say this before I lose you folks. Go to go to amawaterways.com and it's 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 free. There's no charge, but go to the agent portal, the travel agent portal and sign in and you'll find all kinds of good information up there for you at the Ama Waterways agent portal and that's at amawaterways.com and as a bonus or a, a detriment you'll see my picture up there with all kinds of sales and marketing tidbits for you as well so it's up there for you to help you and i'm just going to throw a, a, a with mary margaret that ama waterways as far as i'm concerned the people make the difference i mean a doorknob's a doorknob a river's a river budapest is not going to change but you deal with ama waterways and I've seen it time and time again. It's just consistent, consistent across the board. Good, good people servicing good, good clients. So it's just a, it's just a wonderful, easy for me to endorse it, Diane. I think you folks are Thanks. just rock. And listen, Thank I think you, we're going to end it. 
we're going to end it on those that kudos there because I, I don't want to start waxing eloquent. I'll sound false, but folks, you have the you have the email for more information. You have the website for more information. You have the BDM sales team there. You can go find your BDM. You have the opportunity with this huge, magnificent new piece of equipment coming out. And the question is that as a marketing uh, consultant, I ask this question. What are you going to do about this? If you do nothing about it, your paycheck's not going to get any bigger. If you do something about it, you're going to be smiling for the next 10 years because the commissions are right. The rivers are right. Everything's right about this. And if you don't do something, that's no one's fault but your own. But I, I challenge you. It's, it's there to, for the taking. Go get it. And Diane, I want to thank you for taking the time and the effort to meet with me today and answering all these great questions. And I invite this whole group back next month. Uh, hopefully, it'll be the third Thursday. Maybe we'll do it right next time on the right date. I mean, third <laughs> Thursday of April. I don't know what's going on yet. I'll let you know. Um, and if you want this recording faster than the process, uh, give me a, um, an email at Mike at MikeMarshev.com, and I'll do the best I can to get you that link ASAP. Diane, you're the best. Thanks for meeting with me today. You're very welcome, and thank you all, and thank you all for joining us, and please do whatever you can to uh, sell that I'm a magna.